a guy came to see me actually from America and uh, he was struggling with anxiety specifically around workaholism. So, you know, he would work, 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 and then get really, really anxious. He was trying to do everything. He wasn't delegating. He had a team around him willing and ready to support him, but he was trying to do everything. He was also trying to do everything at home. Uh, so he, he wasn't letting his wife or children help him. He felt like he had to do everything. So he went back to scenes where he was only 10 years old and his dad died. And he felt he had to be the protector. Somebody said to him, you have to be the man of the house now. Now he was only 10 years old. He felt helpless. He felt hopeless. He, he couldn't take away his mother's grief. He didn't know how to be a protector at 10 years old because he was 10. He was a child. But what his mind made him believe was that I'm helpless and I'm hopeless. But what I can do is I can strive and I can try harder. I can work harder, work harder, work harder. I don't feel like I'm enough. I actually feel like I'm a burden because his mum was going through so much grief that he felt his own feelings were a burden. And so I have to be strong and I have to hold it all together and I can't share how I'm feeling. And so that was causing anxiety in him as an adult because he was holding it all in. He was trying to do everything himself and trying to still be the man of the house, the defender, the protector, to do it all. Um, and he was also trying to prove that he was enough. And he realized that his mum, his mom, uh, never felt that she was enough. And so she kind of passed that on to him. So he didn't feel that he was enough and nothing that he ever did was enough. And so he just kept having to do more and do more and do more. And the long hours was causing him anxiety. Then he'd go home and have to do everything at home. He was, I think, trying to build a house at the time as well and extend the house or, or do house renovations. And so that feeling of helplessness can sometimes drive people to do nothing and procrastinate and not take action. And other times it can drive us to try harder, work harder, because I've got to prove that I'm enough. I've got to prove that I can do this. And nothing ever feels good enough. So I work, 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 work. And the outcome might be a really successful project or something. But I'm never, I'm never satisfied because it's not enough because I still feel that there's an element of helplessness and hopelessness and not enoughness about my stuff and about my work. And so that's what was driving him. And so now he can be free of that. He can ask for help. And that's been a learned process, you know, taking some time and seeing where can I find ways to get some help? You know, I could, you know, I could teach my children to do something at the same time as I'm getting help from them. And so the first time I teach them, yeah, I'm going to have to be hands on and involved. But then the more that I teach them and the more that I pass on how to do it, the more I can delegate and they can do things and my wife can help. And the same in the workplace. And that's taken a little bit of time. Like what was rapid was seeing the child and seeing, oh, the learned helplessness and the, the need to drive and drive to prove that I'm enough. And so that was really rapid in the session. Then what has taken time is the transformation and implementing new ways of being and asking for help, realizing that what I've done is enough, that actually that's enough for today and I'm going to go home now. I can do the rest tomorrow. I can ask my staff for help. I can reach out. I can do things in different ways. I can let people in to help me. Uh, and so, you know, it's a journey. It's a work in progress. He's enjoying applying the new skills that he's learned and he has a lot less anxiety in his life and a lot less workaholism, which means he can spend time with his family, enjoying things and having fun, not just working, working, working.